Oh, hi, hello. Um, so today's video is going to be about important dates for the tax season this year. My name is Jacques Taylor, this is Proteer Accounting Services and if you're new to my channel, please like this video, please subscribe, I will really appreciate that. Um, and what's in it for you? But simply quite often tips and videos on topics revolving around business in South Africa, specifically from an accounting and tax point of view. So today's video is about the, you know, just a couple of important dates for the 2019 income tax season. So the first one is officially tax season starts on the 1st of August, but you would have heard that SARS has been promoting on their on their various um, on, on their various broadcasting channels like radio and the news and all of that that they have already allowed submission of income tax returns. Yes, they have. E-filing has been officially open as of the 1st of July. It usually is. My recommendation usually is just wait until the end of August before you do your income tax return as an individual for the very, very simple reason that every year there's a bit of a mix up and a bit of a, an implementation process, let's call it that. But there's a couple of bugs that needs to just be a couple of creaks that, uh, uh, what wrinkles that have to be ironed out before SARS, um, before the system works. Fine. Now, this year those wrinkles are significantly deep and a lot of ironing needs to be done. And SARS is not doing a lot of that ironing. Um, the tax practitioners, <laughs> we are. And then we're pointing out where exactly the wrinkles are and all of that. So usually that's what my recommendation is. Do it towards the... No, do it in August. Um, also, it's one of the periods where there's the least amount of traffic on the website. So having said that, quite simply, that was the first date, was the 1st of August, right? So because a lot of the tax returns are submitted through e-filing, most of the wrinkles would be sorted, right? So if you want to wait until just after the 1st of August or even on the 1st of August, on the 31st of July, your choice, go for it. If you want to go into a SARS branch to file your taxes at a SARS branch, now yes, this is an option, yes, you can do this. You will have to wait until the first of until the first of, of August at least. Alright. Now, because the tax season is officially only starting a couple of months later, or a month later, SARS burn, SARS was very kind and they've extended the tax season to a month later so tax season for individuals closes in the first week of December I'll put the exact date up here um, in, in, in processing the video um, I don't recall it off the top of my head it's around the 4th of December if I'm not mistaken um, so I'll put the exact date right there for you but that's the date by which your tax season closes now what does closing of tax season mean it means that if you have not yet submitted your income tax return by that date and you submit it afterwards number one if it's not submitted you are non-compliant and the chances are you might get slapped with a penalty now this is usually anything between 250 and 500 grand but uh, per month that you are behind but I've also seen bigger penalties um, there's also interest on those penalties and yeah you want to try and avoid those as much as possible then there's also the the situation where you will find a if you do submit your income tax return you have to make an additional payment that payment will also carry interest right so the ideal is to make sure that you have reached your submission deadline which is in December that sounds like it's very far away don't fall for that trap yes it is very far away but you know don't procrastinate just make sure you get it done if you won't get around to it you know just send me an email this is kind of what I do do people's tax for them 
very very simple very very easy so just let me know if you if you need me to to do it for you so having that shameless uh, self-promotion done now the second important date or the third important date for individuals um, those individuals who are registered as provisional taxpayers your income tax return due date is the 31st of January chances are this is not going to be extended because of a later opening of, of, of tax season because that is the policy kind of written into law kind of thing so your your due date for provisional taxpayers for you submitting your income tax return is the end of January right so those are the important SARS dates for tax season um, I just want to mention two other important income tax related due dates the first one being the first 2020 year provisional tax declaration and payment that is due on the 31st of August sorry about that that payment and submission is due on the 31st of August then you have an opportunity for an additional provisional tax payment for the 2019 year that payment um, deadline if you want to make that payment make sure you do it before the 30th of September and then there is your second 2020 provisional tax payment is the, both the return and the payment is due before the end of February 2020 right so those are the important dates for SARS for the 2019 and 2020 income tax season year my name is Jacques Talliard this is Pretier Accounting Services stay warm and have a fantastic weekend